I'm Jason Oliveira here with some breaking news. That's right. Ever since I took this DNA test, this is going to be a new series just called the DNA series. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but every time I have something to update you on what's happening with uh, my genealogy ancestry, I am going to create a video about it so that when my kids are wondering, they won't have to search far. And they'll have all the other shit because I'm going to do an... Uh, I'm going to do the ultimate video. The ultimate video will be the day that I discover the truth of all of this. Now you're saying, oh, truth, Jay, just cut the shit. You're just, you're just being silly. You're being dramatic. That's what I thought, too. Like, I was, I, for the, for the beginning of this, I really was just kind of fucking around and kidding around. But then um, I started doing the Ancestry.com just to, to try to link names that I knew so that I could plug them in so that if, if the kids or whatever later on in life needed that information, it would be somewhere out there. Um, and in the digital era, you know, digital, 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 in the digital, in the digital, in the digital, in the digital era, it will always be around one form or another. Okay, so I'm Jason Oliveira, and there was Joanne Green, who was my mother, and Manuel Alves Oliveira, who was my father. Now, his father was also Manuel Alves Oliveira, adding to the confusion of this whole fucking mess, and his mother was Helen C. Herrera, I believe, and the C I discovered through Ancestry.com. Here's where it gets fucking tasty, folks. Everything I can find. Now, my father was born on November 24th of two, no, 2000, 1914. The parents I found for him online that they suggested were the same names. He was born on the same day. They lived in the same locations. But... He had a brother and two sisters. I know I've mentioned this. And up until now, I just thought, well, maybe I got the names wrong because it, it's still possible that a Manuel Alves Oliveira and a Helen C. Pereira had a Manuel Alves Oliveira on that birthday, on, on that day, on November 24th of 1914. However, one of the brothers' names was Lewis. And for the hell of it, I was going back through address books and, uh, and a bunch of like just stuff that my parents, well, my mother had. And this is their wedding book. Um, she assembled this. It's, it's actually quite interesting. There's, um, you know, uh, a picture of like, uh, maybe I'll scan it in for you guys. When my father asked my mother to marry um, him, it's going to say her. And so I started going through things. And, I, and, and earlier today, I remembered seeing the address book. So I went through that and I remembered a name, Carolyn Gallagher, who was Carolyn Hastings when I knew her. And she was really good friends with my mother. So I thought, well, maybe I can reach out to her on Facebook. So I sent her a friend's request. I'll, I'll update you on that as things come to be. My aunt did get back to me and she said that my mother had never mentioned anything about my father having any siblings, but she couldn't remember, which is totally understandable. I don't expect everyone to remember everything. But... Let me see. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can switch cameras real quick here. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to help at all. There is a name at the bottom of this list that gave a gold blanket. And who is that name? Louis Oliveira. Now, that is, that is the child of Helen and Manuel Oliveira. If this is the Helen and Manuel Oliveira. The coincidences are adding up at this point, and there's no way that I believe at this point that my father did not have a brother and two sisters. I think Helen, Evelyn, might have been Mary. I can't remember the, the third sibling's name. But nonetheless, this links it. And if I went back on Ancestry.com, which I fucking did, Lewis married a Helen. So there is a Helen and Lewis Oliveira here who are somehow magically tied to my father, living in Nevada at the time. You see what I'm saying? I think I had, and I'm, I know he's dead. He died in 1978. He was born 1952. No, 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 no. Uh, it's, it's a little confusing because of all the manuals and Davids and Pauls. You know how it is when you're, well, when you were Portuguese. Okay, that's, that's the latest update. But this was, this was big to me because this confirmed something for me. I mean, within, you know, a 1% chance of being wrong... I now believe wholeheartedly that my father had a brother and two sisters. Yeah, a brother and two sisters. So that means <laughs> you can see I'm a little discombobulated about it. But there was some baby making going on, not not with each other, 
But if they had children, which they did, which there is a Robert Oliveira I found on Ancestry. So I'm starting to connect the dots, and I think I'm almost at a point where there might be people I can actually find that are still alive that I can reach out to and say, hey, I'm Manny's kid. <laughs> you got any information? Another thing I'm having trouble remembering is I had godparents. I remember uh, I remember meeting them when I was young, and I went and stayed with them a few times. It was a black family. I, I don't remember their names, though. And I was hoping by looking at the wedding list I might be able to figure that out, but it did not help. So if I find out that information, then, well, you know, I'll do my best to pass it along as soon as I have it. But uh, yeah, this is the DNA series. If you don't want to hear about my mystery that's going down with my ancestry and genealogy, then this is not a series you want to watch because it's going to be a lot of me digging into the past and trying to find people. I, I personally think it's going to be very interesting. So if any of you guys out there know any uh, Manuel Alves Oliveras, a David Oliveras, a Paul Oliveras out in Las Vegas, possibly, maybe even California, Arizona, anywhere in that region, a Ruth, um, I can't remember her married name, but uh, Ruth Oliveira before that. Um, yeah, let me know. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And uh, we'll catch you in the next uh episode of my DNA mystery. Like, like bye? <laughs> All right. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Hit the little bell icon to let you know every time I put out a new video. Thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. And I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Good night. <laughs>